Right. Have you have you gone on a date yet? Ah, uh, well, to be honest, nah. The quest for love isn't always easy. Finding a groom is worse than looking for a job. But what happens when love comes after marriage? In our tradition, girls never have romance before the marriage. And your family has the final say over who you marry. So before the marriage, will you allow the girl to talk with the boy? I had no idea who she was. I was ready to say no, but when I saw him, I said yes. Meet the Kiwis who are putting their tradition first and their parents in charge of choosing Mr or Mrs Wright. Seriously, I'm so nervous. Twenty-five-year-old Shanil is from a traditional Hindu family and he's about to embark on an arranged marriage to a girl chosen by his family. I really trust him and I believe in them. So I told my grandfather, you guys look for a girl. If I like her, then yes, I'll get married. But um, you guys will have to do all that work, so they're, they're my wingman. Once a bride was found, a meeting between the two extended families was set to discuss the match. I had no idea who she was. I did ask for a photo. I asked if she's got Facebook as well. Uh, they said that no. I'm like, oh, OK. When I first saw her, she was uh, very shy and uh, she looked very traditional. And then I was just like, oh, yeah, she's the one. After a year-long engagement consisting of chaperoned meetings and occasional phone calls, Chanel is three weeks away from being married. At the moment, um, I feel very nervous. It's like I don't really know much about her. And, um, you know, we, we never went out on a date. The first time we only chat was just after our engagement, actually. So she does come from a very strict family and a very traditional family, so, yeah, I didn't really get to know her. Chanel's grandfather is a Hindu priest and took the leading role in choosing his grandson's wife. My grandfather means a lot to me. When I was a little boy, I never saw my father, so he looked after me like a father. And his grandfather would not have selected Sinjana if the stars did not predict a good match. Saison here is like a uh, hard skin is fair and she'll be a good wife to anyone. And she's going to fit well within the family. Also, her personality is a good one. She has got a very strong character. Yeah, it looks all good yeah. and it's, there's nothing now. It's matching. It's matching and it's compatible as well. So it's really important in our culture to get the horoscopes done because we do need to see if it matches. And also horoscopes do give assurance that it will work. Growing up in Auckland, Chanel is experienced at balancing cultural expectations with his Kiwi life. Oh, here he is. Hey. 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 My mates were quite surprised when they found out that I was getting arranged. They were just shocked. They always saw the Kiwi black, they never saw my traditional bits and pieces. Does your culture have stag do's? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah? But, have you had uh, one? but I haven't had one. I was, don't have time. Oh, wow, well, welcome to your stag do. Have you have you gone on a date yet? Uh well to be honest, nah. You hadn't gone on a date? Wow. It's just been a date with the family. It is that's that's an interesting wow. concept. So the relationship comes after the marriage? Pretty much. That's how it goes. Wow. Interesting. Everything's everything's just going from scratch. Yeah. Say for instance. One week into your marriage? Yes. And things don't actually pan out to where you, you plan to be? Ooh, Do we no, want to go there? Do we want to go there? Yes. Uh, that's that's going to be a tough wonderful. question, mate. <laughs> um, I don't know, eh? Um, like, seriously? I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a learning uh, curve. It's going to be um, going through a journey of uh, how to maintain the relationship and how to grow with that relationship. Just, um, just going with the flow at the moment. Soon, Chanel will have to juggle the happiness of both his family and his bride-to-be. It's a lot of responsibility there. 
but um, hey, ready for the challenge. We wish you all the best, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Cheers, yeah. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Cheers, man. Yes. And I take it that's your last beer for the rest of your life. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For most Indians, 25 is the ideal age to have an arranged marriage. So for 40-year-old car salesman Wasim, the clock is ticking. My parents and most of my friends got arranged marriage and marriages has worked out really well for them. So I think this is the right time for me because I'm pretty much nearly 40. What kind of car do you want your wife to be? I think Mini Cooper. <laughs> pretty economical, affordable. Easy to hide it. With time running out, this 40-year-old Muslim bachelor is leaving no stone unturned. My parents are looking in India. My friends are looking in New Zealand. I've registered to a few dating sites and one of my priests looking in a Muslim bride in our community over here. I don't want to end up living alone for the rest of my life, so and my parents, everyone, like, you know, I'm the only one left unmarried in my family, so this is the time. It's Auckland City's Diwali Festival, with thousands of Indian women here to celebrate. Maybe Wasim can find the one. There's so many beautiful girls around. Do you like any girls here? So far, I haven't seen anything. You got a oh, good time. No, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm just trying to build my confidence. A lot of girls, come on. <laughs> you gotta be brave. <laughs> come on, you'll find one. Uh, it's, it's, it's very hard, it's very hard. <laughs> Trust me, when you come in my shoes, then you'll understand. It's really hard. <laughs> Are you gonna sell yourself then? Yeah, I think I should just go and say, like, I'm a very simple and nice guy. And let's start with friendship, and let's see, like, how it goes. I'm trying to be brave, but I'm not that brave, though. <laughs> I just don't want to take any slap on my face. He'll be a very good husband because he's a very honest person. He's sort of a person, even at 2 o'clock at night, you ask him anything, he'll stand by you. But he is a little bit shy. On your left. On your left. Those ones, those ones. <laughs> yeah. I think I can't make it. You can just say hi. Go, 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 go for it. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? My name is Wasim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How was the dance? What do you guys do? We do Bhangra. Bhangra? Yeah. The Punjabi one? Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking for a bride. Okay. And if you do know someone, uh, interest rate? <laughs> let, let, no. <laughs> no worries. OK, then. Thank you. Thank you. Parents are, like, working really hard on me. And their main goal is, like, you know, to be in this deadline, they want me to get married. So hopefully, like, somebody's coming. Who knows? And I have to lose weight too. Parents says like I have to lose 10 kgs before I get married, so that's a target. Having no success finding a match in New Zealand, Wasim has decided to try his luck back in India. In one month I have seen like nearly 100 girls. I didn't like any of them. But just before I was coming back to Auckland, I thought like, okay, last one I'll give a try and see. I went to see her as soon as I entered inside the room. I saw her like sitting on the chair. I knew like, okay, she's the one. I spent like less than five minutes with her. I asked only three questions. How old are you? What did you do? And what's your major? That's it. I didn't even ask her name. Confident he has found his wife to be, Wasim is now back in New Zealand, eager to share his good news. I think she's the one. She's the one, wow. Your fingers crossed. So she said yes to you? Yes, she did. Yeah. Uh, yep. So, Mashallah. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling lucky. Oh, that's <laughs> good. So when is the engagement happening? I'm just waiting for like for her father to get approved. Yeah. Her mom said yes. Now you have to send gifts for the father, so he agrees, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Bribe him. <laughs> Bribe him, yes. We have 12 years age gap between us, so it took a while for her father to be convinced. But end of the day, it's all happening. Wasim has the all-important approval from his future bride's parents and is wasting no time planning for married life. Oh, so you're going to get married? Yep. Oh, no. No more single life, no man? More single life. <laughs> so you wanted to buy a house before you get married? Yes, that's my plan. You can go have a look around. Have a look in the hallway. 
I want to have children as soon as possible. I may have like maybe 10, 15 years to have kids. So I want to have as many as possible in that time period. I do need a big family. I want to make a cricket team in my home. So 11 players and one additional. <laughs> children are like gifts from God. So you have to have many, as many as you can. <laughs> do you know if she wants kids? Ah, uh, every Indian woman likes kids. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> Having only ever spoken to his future wife for five minutes, Wasim can only hope they will be able to find some common ground. She has to be very much satisfied and 100% happy. So I have to do whatever I have to do to make her happy. If she don't like to cook, we can go and eat takeaway. If she doesn't like one place, we can move to another place. But if she don't like me, then I don't have any other option. I don't know what to do then. It's two weeks until Chanel's arranged marriage and he's taking the two women currently in his life, Mum Shalini and Grandma Padma, along to the final suit fishing. OK, so the wedding suit is ready. Let's go up and try it on. Yep, Yeah. Right. OK, there we go. go. So this is the whole cutwork design, which I have designed it myself. Do you like it? The pressure is on Chanel to prove to bride-to-be Sinjana and her family that they're the right fit. Suit picking was a quite a big thing for us because it was really important. I'm wearing the right clothes. I wanted to impress Sunshine's family so that they know that, yep, he's the one and there's no doubts. Everything needs to be perfect. Very nice, yeah. I like that, but Chanel, you? It's pretty good, yeah. Custom made. I like the velvet. Yes, this is what we wanted. We wanted something very different and something unique and we wanted to put our own effort and design into it, so to make it more personalised, I suppose. Let's try it on. Yep. Yes? Yes, this is what I was after. Feels really good. I feel like a king. Do you feel comfy in this suit? Yes. It looks really good. I just look at the design at the back. Do I look fat or do I look slim? <laughs> I'll give you trousers. Okay. We'll have nice, toby pants. He's going to walk on a very major path in his life, and it is a major journey that he's taking. And a bit of responsibilities, not just bit, I think huge responsibilities with it. Wow, here comes the Maharaja. <laughs> Looks really good. Looks really good, yeah. Walk, walk and see how you feel. Looks really nice. Hi, I like the stone work. Now I think she'll go, wow. I think she will. After all, I'm her hubby. Come on. <laughs> Here we go, Chanel. This is for protection. Cute. Oh, gosh, just put it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's quite blunt. <laughs> Sanchana hasn't seen me dressed like this, but I don't believe her when she sees me, she will be quite stunned. Choosing a wife for your son is a big responsibility, and Shalini wants to make sure 25-year-old Chanel is prepared for the life change. I always kept asking him, are you OK? Are you ready? Do you want to do this? Are you sure or unsure? And I think he feels that she's the one. An only child brought up solely by his mother, Chanel and Shalini share a close bond. I just want to measure this cloth to see if it's the right size. So what I want you to do is just hold in the corner. And this is for the wedding night. The groom puts the powder on the bride's forehead and puts a dot on the forehead as well. Full stop dot. <laughs> so it needs to be covered so no one can see it. So it, yeah, it's like a very private kind of ritual in front of everyone though. <laughs> so we want to keep it as private as possible. Once married, Sinjana will move in with Chanel and his mother, officially leaving her family and joining Chanel's. Sinjana. So I want her to feel she is special to me and she is part of my family now and she's my daughter. I understand how she is with her parents and my parents were quite strict as well. And I know exactly how she is feeling and what she would be going through. Throughout the engagement, cultural restrictions have been in place, limiting contact to occasional meetings and Skype calls, but always under the supervision of a family member. Hello, Sinjana. How are you? I'm good. good. What have you been up to? 
Nothing, just cleaning the house, helping mom make sweets. You really excited yeah. for the wedding? Yes, yes. How's the outfit? Have you got it? No, I'm going to pick it up on Saturday. Oh yes, my mum and St Janet talk quite a lot, a lot more than I do, um, because they can relate to girly things. It's really important for me that my mother is uh, looked after and someone honours her and uh, values her and respects her. Uh, her happiness is my happiness. If she's not happy, I'm not happy. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's been quite some time, I haven't seen you. <laughs> oh, someone's blushing. Okay, okay. Are you excited for the wedding? I'm scared. A little bit scared. Scared? Scared of me? Okay. Scared that you might run away from the... No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just scared because you'll miss out your parents? Just a feeling. You're happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Are you? Yeah. Okay. When we Skype, it was quite hard for me to get to know her. There wasn't really much that we could relate. She's really shy when she talks to me. You know, she was very sheltered and uh, I am quite worried um, that we don't really have much in common. With only a week to go until their marriage, Chanel must wait a little longer to really get to know his bride-to-be. Take care of yourself. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye. 40-year-old Bye. bachelor Wasim has agreed to marry a woman from India he has only met once and spent just five minutes with. So Wasim, this is the end of your life, end of the bachelor life? Oh my God. So who found her for you? Uh, actually, we have got a family friend. Okay, so it is uh, it's through the it's friend. It's through family friend. Fair yeah. So how long did you see her? I only saw her like for five minutes. That's it? Yeah, that's, that's it. It will be a very traditional Muslim wedding. It will be a big celebration. Roughly, I'll say like about 3,000 people. Wedding will be for five days, so it will be a huge one. Are you guys in contact with each other? Like how you guys are talking or how you are getting in touch with each other? I'm like not at all in contact with her. Really? Yeah. Aren't you? We are not allowed to talk to each other. Oh my goodness. That's going to be difficult, don't you think? Yeah, I just want to know like her concerns like, you know, regarding the wedding. I think you both need to talk about the planning of wedding and even the future plans. I mean, you must. I mean, this is your, your life and you both need to know each other well before you guys get into relationship and especially marriage actually yep that's true i think it is very important like because end of the day like we will be staying together exactly and if she is not happy if she's been forced to get married or like you know forced to come over here she won't be happy living with me i don't know if she is the right wife because we have never met her they didn't have any conversation no phone calls no talks so he has no clue what is going to happen and pretty hard to say pretty hard i mean she could be a fantastic and she, she might not be, so it depends. I really want to know how she's feeling. Going forward from here, like, I'll call my parents, push them, like, you know, I just need to talk to her. Like, I'll say, like, I'm not trying to break the traditions and stuff, but end of the day, both of us have to be happy to start a happy life and a good living. Otherwise, if one of us is not happy, it doesn't work. It's four days until Chanel's arranged marriage to a girl he spent no time alone with, so he wants to make a good impression. I had to make sure that I looked my best. I got quite a bit of things done. Waxing, oh, ah, 3Ding. Are you tearing already? Mm. It does hurt a little bit, eh? The whole shebang. I don't know, it's going to be bloody painful. Oh. See? Woo! <laughs> There's too much hair on the head, hey? You know what happens to men after getting married, eh? Why all the hair falls off? That's... <laughs> after the wedding, Chanel's fiancé, Sinjana, will live with him and his mother, an adjustment that might not be easy for everyone. You're going to be waking up to this girl you promised you will love, and then you have your mum on the other end. For her to keep you happy, she needs to keep your mum happy. You do know that. That's just basically the rule. Hold it there and I'll pull. OK, this is a very awkward question, Chanel. You love her, Sanjana? It's a hard question, you know. It's 
thing is to love someone and to be in love is two different things. You do know that. Romance would come after marriage, especially when it's arranged. It's really important. I try to do as much as I can to keep her happy. Oh, I feel like a new man. So, all ready to go. Three days before married life begins, the Tillich ceremony is the first chance for the two families to come together and get to know each other. I am so nervous, like seriously, I'm so nervous at the moment. It's a real important part of the wedding ceremony. So this is the very first part where the family agrees and invites me to come and get married. While Sinjana waits at home, the male members of her family come bearing gifts for Chanel. Sinjana's family is very traditional, so the Tillich ceremony was a good opportunity for my family to host, and it gives them an idea that how we will treat them in the future. All eyes are on Sinjana's father as he traditionally greets one of Chanel's uncles. <laughs> father-in-law is happy to come to my house with the invitation to come and marry his daughter. If he wasn't happy with me, then he wouldn't have come in the first place. The lighting of the deer signifies the purity and the goodness that is here to wave away evil tendencies or anyone that has come here with evil intentions. This is what he has to do. This is a new life for him. And the tilak on his forehead is to keep give him a cool mindset and to give him the strength. It is saying that you are now going to take responsibility for our daughter, Sanjana. It feels quite good that I've got acceptance in the family. Um, the responsibility does scare, does scare me a bit, but I have to say that um, everything will work out as, um, as time goes. This is all part of arranged marriage and it is part of following all these rituals. So I am quite relieved and I'm happy as well that we've managed to come this far. I'm very proud of Chanel. I'm proud of his decision making and I'm very proud of his maturity as well. Once the formalities are taken care of, Chanel's family provides some special entertainment for their guests. Thank you to you all who have very patiently enjoyed this ceremony. You all are most welcome to join in tonight's festivities of music and dancing. The best part is Monto's dance. She went and sat down on uh, my father-in-law's lap, so it was good to tease my in-laws. <laughs> it was a special gift from me to him. Still in the delicate phase of getting to know each other, Chanel can only hope he's made a positive impression on his father-in-law. Car salesman Wasim has agreed to wed a virtual stranger in India, but after many failed attempts to contact his bride-to-be, he's beginning to have doubts about his arranged marriage. I only talked to her once in the whole process. Problem is, I really want to talk to her and want to know like whether she's happy to get married with me or not. If she's getting forced and if she's not happy, what's the point of getting married? It's very hard. I try to know her better, but when I talk to my parents, my parents like, it's arranged marriage, you don't need to know. Now I have to follow the instructions and traditions, what they say. I can't bypass them. While Wasim is happy to continue with the arranged marriage, he is not so sure his potential bride feels the same. For their parents, maybe it's a culture. We don't have to talk before we get married or something like this. For me, it's necessity because I need to know. I did talk to her parents just before Christmas. I said, like, if you don't let me talk to her, probably I'm not very interested to get married. But then they called my parents and they complained about me saying, like, you know, miss, I said like that. 
end of the day whatever it happens it happens for a reason and it will be a good reason i have to think positive with his wedding plans now more precarious than ever wasim will travel to india to confirm once and for all if the arranged marriage will go ahead i want to talk to her once and that's the only condition i have i want to talk to her once before we get married so it's not over yet still there is a slight chance of hope <laughs> How are you doing, mate? I'm good, man. Okay. Now, what can I do for you today? I uh, just need to tidy up a little bit. It's been five months since Wasim travelled to India to meet his potential bride. Now he's back in New Zealand, and it appears romance is in the air. You got something special we're going today? Yep, like going for a date. Going on a date? Yeah, going on oh, a date. Oh, mate. But his date is not the woman he was going to marry. I went from here to get married over there. They never let me talk to her. I don't want to jump into a conclusion, but I feel like it was forced marriage, and I was not comfortable doing like that, so I pulled off the marriage. Returning to New Zealand, a single man, Wasim received an unexpected surprise. When I was coming back from India, none of my friends came to pick me up, and then I got a call from my friend, and then she asked me, like, where are you? I said, like, I'm just in the airport, trying to figure it out how to go home, and then she said, I'll come and pick you up. And it didn't take long for this car salesman to realise his perfect match was right under his nose all along. Her name is Na. I knew Na from like the last five years and she was a very good friend of mine. So she's been married before, did you say? Yeah, she was married before. And she got like two kids. End of the day, like now I'm happy. She is my perfect Mini Cooper, but like with some extras. The perfect Mini Cooper. Perfect Mini Cooper. She looks like a Mini Cooper. She's she looks not like big. a Mini Cooper. <laughs> She's not very big. <laughs> Thank you very much. Man. Cheers, mate. No worries. After a short courtship, their relationship soon became romantic, and Wasim confessed his true feelings. So tell me about Wasim. Very lovely guy. Um, easy going and um, very care person. How did you meet him? We've been friends for like more than four years. And so how did you fall in love? Uh, we started dating like a um, couple months ago. Actually, he did say to me that he already loved me two years ago, but he can't say it to me because he worried that we he gonna lose our friendship. We decide to get married. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, only wasting any time. <laughs> it's exciting. The kids like him? Yeah. 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 To be honest, I only loved him like a month ago. When I realized that I love him, I have his name, a, his signature like W on my hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. I love it. I feel like he always with me in my arms. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, for a very, very good reason, very good cause. It's just like not my dreams now. It's her dreams and then my dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, that's really nice. I love it. Having found a relationship born out of love, Wasim is content to turn his back on arranged marriage. Yes, it's been a long journey. Glad like it's going to end now. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of wedding do you guys want? Um, Indian wedding. <laughs> Indian wedding first. And then from there, like probably in future, like we'll get married in Vietnam and then we'll get married over here as well. Mm. But let's see. I do believe in arranged marriage, but it's not for me, no. Everything happens for a reason, for a very, very good reason, very good cause. We are in love. <laughs> Deeply. <laughs> Deeply, madly. <laughs> he my dream man. Still now, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Still can't believe it? Mm. No. <laughs> At the moment, like I feel like I'm driving towards the sunset of my life. And hopefully I'll sit with her every day and watch 
sunset and every sunrise. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Janelle's big day has finally arrived and it's important that everyone makes a good impression with the bride's family. Today I've noticed that he's really excited in everyone else's dressings. He's wanting everyone to look really cool and perfect. I'm anxious, nervous, excited as well. It's been about two weeks I haven't seen her and uh, two weeks I haven't talked to her. Oh, well, in reality I haven't seen her for quite some time. With the pressure on, it's the entire family's duty to ensure that Chanel transforms from bachelor to groom. My suit did give me a lot of confidence and did make me feel that Sinjana is the one. Before Chanel leaves, we do a little ritual where Chanel will make promises to me that he will look after me. He will have someone else in his life, which we both understand, and she will be his priority. And I think he's mature enough to take on those responsibilities. Make sure you bring him back with the Wi-Fi. We are giving you this job, so he goes there safely and retains safely, and you are the protector. These guys are my bodyguards, <laughs> and they're gonna make sure that I bring her home. <laughs> oh, but, um, nervous at the moment, so it's a big day. It's a good getting hitched today. <laughs> Last day of being More like getting slotted. <laughs> One year after first meeting and becoming engaged, Chanel sets off to finally wed his bride, Sinjana, a girl he still barely knows and has never dated. It's been a year since 21-year-old Sinjana was introduced to Chanel, the man her parents had chosen to be her husband. I always knew I was going to have a arranged marriage. I told Dad that if I don't like the guy, I won't say yes, so I was ready to say no. But when I saw him, I don't know, I just looked at him and I said yes. Now the day has come for this Hindu bride to finally walk down the aisle. On the morning of the wedding day, while I was waiting in the room, I was really nervous. Excited at the same time to get married because I waited a long time. When I heard Chanel arrive, my heart beat pounds really loud because I was really scared. As Chanel and the wedding procession arrive, they are welcomed by Sinjana's father, who will soon hand over his daughter to a new family and a new life. <laughs> the arranged marriage is like something going from our heart. Oh, she's a bit nervous, she's frightened, you know? But all of us, she's happy. Yeah. I was walking down the aisle. There's lots of guests there. <laughs> that made me really nervous. But I was worried that I might do something wrong. Yeah, first time I saw her after ages, she looked really pretty. I did look at her and then I winked at her and she went all blushy. <laughs> I was shy. I was really shy. My dad gives me away to Schneel. My mom started crying. I told her not to cry. If she cries, then I'm going to sit there and cry the whole wedding. A Hindu wedding ceremony can last hours, with each step of the ritual leading to the most important moment, where the groom places red powder on his bride's forehead, the mark of a married woman. We have to go under the chimney because no one can see that. 
and it was a very sacred and a very private moment for both of us. If someone sees from the outside, it means it's bad luck for marriage. My favourite part during the wedding was when he offered me this, because then I know I'm his forever. Yeah, and then we're starting a new life together. Yes, success! <laughs> Leaving the hall, I start crying because I know it's my time to leave my family now. And leaving them, like, all of a sudden is really, really heartbreaking. It was sad to see them cry, especially my father-in-law. She's really close to her father, so it was quite sad to see him tear up as well. But I did say, don't worry, she's not going forever. We live down the road. Officially married, Sinjana farewells her parents and departs with Chanel and his family. Chanel went without being married. He was single. <laughs> yeah, and he's married now, so I have to welcome them in the house as a married couple now. Although now husband and wife, cultural restrictions still apply on the wedding night. Because it's my first time in their house, we have to sleep in separate rooms. It was OK for me, but it was hard for him. <laughs> we slept in separate rooms um, uh, because that um, she still had to go back to her house and I had to go and pick her up for the very final time and bring her home. The next morning, after a few hours sleep, Sinjana returns to her parents' house one last time. I couldn't sleep because it was new. Just that weird feeling. <laughs> I was really different because I was missing my favourite pillows. I went to bed at 5am in the morning and then woke up at 6.30. <laughs> now I'm excited. Ready to move in with him, live with him forever now. While I was picking, I kind of felt like I, I'm leaving my whole life behind. Chanila and his family are going to take Sanjana. Uh, this is like part of our culture. She's going to a new home. She's going to start everything new, Janie. It's sad for, for them. We're just trying to have um, a good time, relax. It's a celebration there, so just have a bit of a fun laugh. Oh, I think Sunny is a good boy. I think my daughter will just to stay with them. My daughter is my heart, you know. And it's very hard to say that she's going to go out for me. For me, it was reassuring because, like, he trusted me quite a bit and he knew that I am capable of taking this re responsibility and creating our future together. Dad knows he's a good guy. Yeah, it was a happy moment and a sad moment as well because leaving them for the last time was hard. After an emotional goodbye, the newlyweds will now head to Fiji for their honeymoon and will spend their first night alone together. See you soon. <laughs> After spending their honeymoon in Fiji and their first time alone together, newlyweds Chanel and Sinjana are settling into domestic life back in New Zealand. Meryl is good. It is new. But lots of responsibilities, but it's good. For before, I was like really anxious and um, I, I was like really nervous and I, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Now I got to know her, who she actually is. She's a friend, a wife, loving and caring and someone that I can talk to and open up to. It's, good, it's a good feeling, I have to say. No regrets at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> At the family home, Chanel's mother, Shalini, has happily welcomed her new daughter into their household. I feel the decision we've made is right. They have embraced their relationship, which is the first step. They do look good together, they do things together, they're now making decisions together, and it is fantastic so far. And my blessings are there that it will even better, but um, yeah, I, I feel it is a really good match. 
But is Chanel able to balance being a good husband while still taking care of the other important woman in his life, his mother? He has stepped up, yes, absolutely. He's shown that grown-up phase in him. I think he's become more responsible. Sanjana, coming from a very strict family, I think that she is adjusting. She's doing well and she's always smiling. I mean, I can see happiness in her face. And she wants to be here and she wants to be part of our family. Now, three weeks into their marriage, the couple can enjoy slowly getting to know each other. Cheers. Romance. This is when it starts. We're out on our first date after our wedding. I'm very useless at this at the moment. <laughs> Just trying his best. <laughs> Chanel is a husband. I know he's always going to be there for me. He's a really good guy. He takes care of me. <laughs> he's romantic. He cuddles and keeps asking me if I'm all right, if I need anything, if I'm happy with him. It's cute how he keeps on asking it, but I know he's a good husband and he knows I'm a good wife, so we don't expect much from each other. Arrange marriage every day we get to know each other. It's a ch challenging journey, but however, it's quite an interesting journey. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. That's good. Are, are, you, are you not happy? I'm happy. You're happy? <laughs> I'm smiling. You're more tipsy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> ah! My family's made the right decision. There's a lot of compatibilities between us. and We haven't argued yet. No. Yeah. We will never argue. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we found love. Yes, perfect match. Perfect match? Yes, perfect match. Okay. <laughs>